welcome me if you want. If you have not set up your Google Pixel 8, then to activate eSIM, head over to this screen where it says connect to mobile network. Tap on download eSIM and then skip forward 20 seconds into the video. If you have set up your Google Pixel 8, you can see the home screen here. Then the first step is I want you to open up the settings. And inside of the settings, I want you to scroll all the way down until you see network and internet. From here, you're going to see Sims, tap on Sims. And then where it says connect to mobile network, we're going to tap on download a new eSIM. Make sure you are on Wi-Fi, otherwise this screen will not show up. And it's asking us to scan a QR code from network. And so your carrier should have sent you a QR code. And this is how a QR code looks like. It should be sent to you via email or you should have a physical card with the QR code. Place the QR code in the frame of the camera. And this is a QR code which has been used before, which is why I got an error. But if your QR code has not been used before, you should have the option to add and set up your phone number and then just follow the on-screen instructions. If you're a little bit confused, maybe you have a physical SIM card here and you're wondering how do you get a QR code? If you need to convert your physical SIM into eSIM, you will need to call up your carrier and you need to call them up and ask them to convert the physical SIM you have into eSIM. They will then send you a QR code via email or you will have a card with the QR code on it. If they sent the QR code via email, you will need to use another phone or a laptop to display the QR code and you'd use your Google Pixel 8 to download the SIM card and then scan that QR code. If you have an old phone that already has eSIM inside of it, unfortunately, Google does not allow you to transfer eSIM from an old phone to a new phone. So what you will need to do is you will need to call up the carrier and ask them to give you a new eSIM and then they'd email you the new QR code and you'd go here and then you download the eSIM. If you have any other questions, it would, be, it would be best to ask your carrier, but the summary is get an eSIM QR code and then scan it with the instructions in the video. With that being said, if you would like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye bye.